Welcome to Learning Partners. So in this video, we are going to see how we upload the file with obviously integrating with the API. Okay, so this is just a basic UI I have created. So when we upload the file, first thing we need is the input type file by which we select the file. If we click on the choose file, so we get the model pop up and in that pop up, we can open particular file. Okay, and that file gets selected in that input type file. Okay, so next thing is like on change of it, we can integrate an API and send file with that API. Okay, so if we go to the swagger in local, I have one API that is get valid upload file. So here I can select a file and then it will be stored in a particular folder. Okay, so if we go to the .NET project, let's go to the solution explorer. Here you can see resource folder is there inside that image folder is there okay let me see let me show you the basic api code you can see this is the basic api code to upload the file so whatever the file i got i will store that into the resource and the images folder okay so same this upload api we are going to hit with the file okay so let's come back to the angular side this is the component and here I have the input type file. Okay. So now once we change the file, means if any file is selected, we got the change event. So let's write the change event. I mean, whenever we select any file, this event will get triggered on change file. Let's create this function. Okay. I have created a uh, object of HTTP client so we can make use of that post API call this dot HTTP dot post then our URL that will be API let's copy it from from the swagger so this is my API endpoint then from HTML we are we have written the event so if we go to the HTML so here we need to send the object also so dollar event that will be the parameter like whatever the files we select now it will get in the these parameters same we have to bind it here over here also colon any okay then okay so whatever the file we select now that file we will get in this parameter now next thing is right we we need to have one if statement like file is selected or not so if event.target dot files dot length so here simply we are checking the length is greater than zero or not okay then curly bracket open inside that we need to we need to get the first file so let uh, constant file is equal to event.target.files files will be the array so from that we are selecting the first file only target.files of zero okay files is normally array of files so we are selecting the first file only because you might have seen like when we select uh, select any file so we get multi we can select multiple files also so that's why we are selecting the first file only then we have to when we upload the data i mean when we have to upload any file or any type so we have to create a form data okay so for that let's create a form data object form data is equal to new form data okay this is nothing but kind of a form we have created in dot ts then in this form data we have to append our file so form data dot append then the key will be file comma then our file that is the constant const we have created this file we have to pass here so now our form data is created with one file okay now this file we have to send in our post object so let's put this api call inside this if statement okay so now this is the post api so first parameter was the url second parameter will be form data so that will be form data object we have to send then dot subscribe let's write the lambda expression just this code is very much different what we do with normal 
API integration. Just we have to create the form data append particular file. Okay, let's add a debugger so that we can know like file is uploaded after we get the response. Let's save it. I will add the debugger in the .NET also. Let's just add a debugger in here also. Let's add a debugger in .NET end. Yeah. So let's try to select the file. Okay, so let's select the PNG image first. So now just pay attention. If you hover on the files, files, event dot target. So you can see this is an array. Okay, so it is greater than zero. So it will go inside. So whatever the files we have selected, now all everything information will be there. If you see now files, just file, see, this is the file we have selected. So here you can see the image, the type okay the name also so if you need to show the validation like uh, whatever the file user has selected we need to show the uh, size limit you can compare it here type also you can compare it here so validations also can be performed with the files only okay next so we have created form data then append the file okay now if we continue from here it will go continue so you can get the debugger activated in the dot uh, .NET side. So let me just show you a little bit code. Let's debug here. Okay, so let's F10. So in the request, we have sent the file. So if you see here in that file object, we will get the file. Just give it a second. Let's go back to the .NET. Okay, so see here, if we hover on the request, request.forms, see count is one there. Okay, now if we hover on the file, it's, let's expand that. So same file, doni.png images, whatever the file information was there, what we have sent from the front end, same thing what we have got in the .NET end as well. Okay, now see if we continue, the same file will get stored into that particular folder. Let's continue. Let's try to check that folder. See, in that folder we have got jp doni png dot png. Okay, so whatever the file we have selected and try to upload, that same file has been stored into the particular folder. So this is how file upload is done in Angular. Okay, just the code was. It is nothing but same code like we do with the API integration. Just the small changes like we have to create the form data and append a file. Okay. Now let's check if we have to add the validation. Let's say only JPG and PNG should be uploaded. So earlier what we have seen, let's try that again. Let's go back to the browser. Let's try to select any file. Okay. So if we hover on the event.files, event.files so in event.file we get the type here so we just have to add an if statement for the multiple types like whatever the file types we have to allow we just have to add the if statement that will be again validation okay so let's add that inside after the constant if file dot types is equal to in single single code let's get that file type let's get that file type okay so this is the file type for the png so we need to add this in our if statement this or for the jpg so same uh, instead of png it will be jpg is equal to type image slash jpg okay so if either of these files are there then only we will make our api call otherwise we can show the error 
like file is not proper or something error whatever we have to show in else block we will show the error only please select jpg or png only same way you can add a if statement uh, if statement for the file size also let's say you need you want your users to select less than 1 mb only so that you can check like type we have the size also so that stay that statement you can add let's check this just enable the debugger again let's select the file which is not in the type let's try to select the pdf f10 f10 now if we see the file file dot for type you will get application slash pdf because we have selected the pdf so it will go to the else block saying only select jpg and png but now if we select the png any proper image it will get saved let's try one more time that okay so it is png so it will go inside the if statement and our api call will be integrated okay so that is how we upload the file in angular then the validations also we have seen okay so now mostly this is a normal dotnet api project i have created a local folder inside that project and i am storing particular file into this particular folder but nowadays we are working with the cloud system so we have separate file servers like in if we talk about aws we have the s3 bucket and in azure we have blocks so again same thing is there but instead of local folder we get we store the file into the particular files servers okay but from talking about angular side the code will be same doesn't matter we will be integrating api only we don't have to worry about like it is going to store into the particular folder or file server anywhere we just have to integrate the api and send the data along with the form data that's it with this current video please do like and subscribe Thank you all.